I'll try again there. You know. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Mike, I need you to tell us a short story. Really ham up the accent. Uh, right. <laughs> story. Okay, hold on. <clears throat> Let me wet my whistle a moment. Yes. Oh, it's not. It's not. It's not wet enough yet. Hold on. Is, it, is this the whistle wetting fluid? It is. <laughs> also, before you get too into it, hit play, you idiot. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh, that's a very wet whistle. Oh, that is. <laughs> Moment. Let me click ready. Fucking load, you shit fucking game. <laughs> what accent do you want? Do you want Chav or do you want Highly Distinguished Noble? Highly Distinguished Noble. Alright, hang on. Okay, ready. Okay. Yes, of course. If it's fine tomorrow, said Mrs. Ramsey. But you'll have to be up with the lark, she added. To, sir, to her son, these words convey, conveyed an extraordinary joy. As if it were settled, the expedition were bound to take place, and the wonder to which he had looked forward for years and years, it seemed, was after a night's darkness and a day's sail within touch. Since he belonged, even at the age of six, to that great, car, great clan which cannot keep this feeling separate from that, but must let future prospects with their joys and sorrows cloud what is actually at hand. Since to such people, even in earliest childhood, any turn in the wheel of sensation has the power to crystallize and transfix the moment upon which its gloom or radiance rests. James Ramsey, sitting on the floor, cutting out pictures from the illustrated catalogue of the army and navy stores, endowed the picture of, of a refrigerator as his mother spoke with heavenly bliss. It was fringed with joy, the wheelbarrow, the lawnmower, the sound of popular trees, and my game fucking crashed again! <laughs> God damn it, my bullshit. Fuck the game. I'm gonna go play Minesweeper. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck 